Hey everyone, welcome to White Falcon Plays. Today we're starting a new Let's Play of Arch Vale. This is a top-down twin-stick shooter. Uh, let's jump straight in. Alright, new save, single player. Let's go on hard difficulty. And let's head in. Child of Arch Vale, the paradise beyond awakening. Seven great stones lie dormant, sealed in the depths of this kingdom. When united, they shall restore a forgotten bridge between worlds. Go forth, awakened child. The arch awaits. Alright, here we go. Jump straight up. We're ready. I did play a bit of this before, but had some problems screen it, capturing it, etc. So, or recording it. So, I'll probably jump through this a bit quicker than I would if I hadn't played it before. Okay. Attack with the mouse button. Collect coinage. Got a little uh, slime. Two slimes. Shoot at us now. Alright, seems nice and smooth. So hopefully everything is better now. Oh yes, we can uh oh yeah, it's i I'm gonna change this to spacebar, because I quite like spacebar. Place bombs will be I'll stuff this up again uh, like now and again anyway, but I do prefer a space bar to just quickly click it. Okay, we can dash over some uh, bullets. So we've got three dashes we can use before it goes on cooldown. They're up here. We've also got two health pots that we can use if we get a bit low on health. The cool thing about this is um, you can you collect resources to then create new gear. Got to keep moving in this game. If you stop, you uh, die pretty quick. Make it very hectic. <laughs> Press to open your inventory. All right, we got a ring. So you can have rings, we can have uh, helmets, and we can have a chest piece, as well as all sorts of cool different weapons. Heal flask is F if we needed it. We'll definitely need as we go. Oh, such a lovely looking game. The shrines. If you fall in battle, you will awaken at the last fountain that you used. Go. Alright, now we get into some real combat. We can throw pots at people as well. Getting hit already. My biggest Achilles heel is getting stuck on an environment. <laughs> so these are these shell things that we can make armor and stuff from them. And we can also make weapons and armor from uh, iron. Love throwing these pots. Okay. Yeah, everything has a lot of help in hard difficulty. Right, let's take these guys out. Oh! into that one. I'll just walk into each one just to show you what happens. Oh, amethyst. Attack speed up. Do that. I like it that they give you a bit of range on your uh, attacks. But 
know how that works, but uh, definitely makes it a bit easier than getting right in their faces and getting hit by bullets all the time. Well, let's grab this little chest. Makes things a bit quicker. I like it how it uh, flashes when you've killed everything in the room so you know you've got everyone. Decent number of uh, supplies there. Here we go, we're at Timberwell. The first villagers. Whoa, I want to be an adventure like you. It's too bad my mum won't let me. You've got to grow up to be strong and then you can go adventuring, mate. Looking to craft some uh, equipment, eh? Keep your eyes out in the wild for some shiny rocks. If they're sparkling, smack them about and you'll get yourself some materials. At the anvil, you can craft weapons and armor with the resources you find. If you're planning on venturing beyond Fair Reach, you'll definitely want to make sure you're well equipped. It. We will, sir, we will, thank you. All right, let's make, what do we got? Should have enough for uh, both these things. I want to make sure I do get a weapon. Maybe we'll go for a snail rod this time. If we do that, we won't have enough for armor, but that's alright. I'm sure we'll get more later. Alright, let's put the armor in. And now we can use this uh, bouncy uh, weapon instead. I like it. Those fountains are creeping me out. That old guy goes around, goes on about them being here to protect us or something. But the way the angel stares at us, oh, it's beautiful. So, one thing I didn't realize for ages in my other game uh, is that you can now teleport to uh, fountains every, anywhere in the world. Which makes things a lot easier. I think you're supposed to be able to put things in there, but I'm not sure why that's not working. These sacred fountains are older than even myself. Beacons placed by the beings who protected this world, the legend claims. Supposedly these gods-like beings sent many other gifts into our world. A comforting thought, is it not? Okay. Let us head into the world once more. So magic's a bit different. Um... Uh, well, not that different, but you can collect those blue stars, and that lets you attack faster and faster. Which is kind of awesome. Oh, I've lost all my HP and everything. Must have pressed something. They pressed something, or something's gone wrong. gone into well, I can't even see my inventory anymore what is going on here hmm all right I'm in a bit of trouble here let me uh, restart see if I can get my screen back Game's causing my problems. Alright, let me uh, just see if this will reset my uh, user interface. That seems better. There we go. Now we can see stuff. Alright, we're back at it. We're back at it. Oh, it's got a bit, it's got a bit of an area effect. Yeah, mate. Okay. Good hitting there, Adam. Let's kill these guys. There are a couple of them. Nice. Nice. Um, we got a question mark. Question marks are always seem to be friendly. Jump in here. We now have a boat. 
Now, which way should we go here? They've got the village. We'll go to the village first because we need to make our helmet. So we can look dapper. So we can look dapper. Grab our shells. Say hi to the neighbors. Oh, the butterfly here. So they've got purple bullets. They uh, fly at one. Just uh, grabbing everyone. And she just wants for a bit of AOE. So you can see that they don't uh, pull their punches. They hit you with lots of stuff straight away. Fairich The Piggy You can now store up to 500 gold Welcome, welcome I've got an inkling that all my banking servers might be of use to you It isn't a pain losing your hard-earned gold when you fall in battle Fret not longer Stranger, you can leave your gold here and it'll be safe regardless of your combat mishaps. I can only hold so much, but we have many more banks across this world. Seek them out to keep even more of your gold safe from your incompetence. It's pretty harsh, mate. Now, care to make yourself first deposit. Yeah, you can take all my gold. I won't begrudge you. Keep it safe for me. Not from around here, are you? That means you're a traveller. I'm sure I not need to tell you of the dangers beyond the town. But perhaps my wares may be of use of your journeys ahead. Okay, so we can buy some weapons and stuff from him. We have enough. Let's buy a rusty flail. Give that weapon a go. A lot of weapons, like if it says material. See, it says material underneath that weapon. That means it can be crafted into something else later. Which is pretty cool. Mind if I take a peek at those elixirs you're carrying? Ah, uh, yes, a recipe I'm familiar with. I happen to know a few tricks of the trade to pump up the potential potency of those such healing brutes. Bring me some mega plums, and I'll see what I can do. Okay, so he can upgrade our health pots. Be very handy. Hello, old little traveller. Have you come to browse my extensive badge collection? So we can buy badges off him and badges that you um, are put in here and you can augment your skills with extra damage or uh, different effects. Got your eyes on my array of trinkets and treasures, little child. I doubt you could afford even the cheapest of my collection. Regardless, these are not for sale. I'm a collector, you see. Now, child, if you happen across any treasure akin to mine, please do bring them to me. I pay pretty pennies, I'll have you know. Okay, so we can bring him treasures. And up here... Children like you should not be lurking beyond town. But if you must, those weapons of yours could use some work. I've been a smith for many a year, perhaps one of these the best. For a fee, I'll gladly reinforce those shorty weapons of yours. So this guy can actually, uh, you can pay to upgrade your weapons to do more damage. So it goes from 40 to 42. So we can, we can do that. We can spin our morning star around our head. Hey. Darn bandits have overtaken the amber path once again. Despite the beauty of that autumn glade, it's never safe enough to take an evening stroll through. <coughs> Sorry, I'll see what I can do about that. Alright. 
magical weapons may seem weaker than their physical counterparts at first. However, enemies struck by magic drop magic shards. Grab those stars and your magical weapons will become more effective. Thanks, mate. Give me some hints. Uh-oh, here we go. These things. These ones, these ones. These are challenges. You need to stay alive and not get hit while trying to collect these little uh, crystals. It's harder and harder. He's got a little bit of a pickup radius, which helps. Now they are shooting a lot quicker. You just have to get hit once and the whole thing, well not the whole thing, but the uh, the level that you're on resets. You don't want to get hit, do we? Oh. If I do get hit, it'll just be to show you what happens when I, when I do get hit. But, uh, we're fine, we're fine. Star Magnet massively increases pickup range for magic shards. So these are badges and we have to equip them um, and then we can use a fountain to lock them in. Probably give us a fountain right here. No, it won't. Boomerang. That's probably what I should be using because I'm Australian. But I think we'll use a upgraded flail. Oh, instantly get hit. Oof. Maybe a boomerang might be good for this guy. I'm gonna get hit if I get too close. Oh my goodness, I'm getting destroyed! Let's see if I can uh, heal myself. Oh! 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 Guys, the jumping hurts. Maybe I'll use my bow. Did I get my bow? I haven't got it on me. Oof. There's my first death instantly. I only got him to half. Let's get my bow out. Because I think that range will definitely help. Alright, mate. We're back. Be a little... Your little bow in your hair. Still hits me even if I dash. Oh. What's happening here? Why did I swap? Oh my goodness. Doing terrible at the moment. Stay back. Stay back, I say. Maybe I use my... Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Maybe this might be better to uh, do a bit of area damage. Oh, gosh. Oh, there's some hearts up there. That might be Oh, oh, he's going a bit angry. Not doing a very good job of dodging them. All right, all right, mate. Just calm down. Oh. There we go. Increase our maximum hearts. 
Increases the chance enemies drop hearts when low health. Very handy. I will need that in this crazy, crazy game. Oh my goodness. I'm stuck in the corner here. Let me out of here. Oh my goodness. Oh! Stuck on a... This might be good actually. I don't know why I just managed to walk down into that. Alright, looks it looks so much easier than it is. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. What have we got this time? A wooden spear. Fountains. Increase our defense by one. So we've got our stats over there, so I'm guessing defense will just decrease the amount of damage you take by four. So very helpful. Oof, straight into the dungeon. Actually, what we might do, I forgot we should be uh, making making our armor etc let's see what we can make we can make a slime flail which is definitely i wonder if that increases its damage no so it actually takes away all the extra buffs that you put on from before oh maybe we'll make a but then we could yeah we'll make a standard one Let's make an axe. Quite like the axes. That could be our main weapon. If we need lots of range, we could use that. And then we have the flail. Okay. I like it. Equipped our helmet. And then we'll head back. Oh, wrong one. Look at <laughs> we look bold. I don't know about this this new helmet. Actually, we need to uh, hit this so we can uh, spawn back here, just in case we um, die. We should also put these on while we can. Oh, another one here anyway. Good gracious. Interesting that the flail doesn't hit them. Alright! Let us head in. The deep darkness. Like they always throw an easy one at you, and then you're like, oh, this is alright. And then they always make it harder. Okay. A golden key. What's this way? I forgot. Slimes. Oh. Get stuck on the posts. I like axes because they go through mobs. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Golden chest. Ah, treasures. So we can sell to that um, old man. Probably not that old. The collector. been close, but not too close. Ow. I probably should have taken out the yard first. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, there's a post. Okay, okay. Use our potion already. Ah, oh, now I know what they do. Those are giving me extra oops extra charges of my um green that makes sense now well mate just relax uh oh uh oh Thank 
you around with things. Okay, 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 we've got this, we've got this. Have we got a silver key yet? I don't think so. Nope. We'll use our potion. We got a silver key, just like that. We got now, we got arches again. Ooh. Oh, goodness. Flailer. Flailer be flailing. Oh, come on. We had a silver key, didn't we? Take him out before he gets more of these crazy stuff going. Double. Treasures. And a bone crusher. Deals bonus damage to skeletons. Yes, please. And defense by three and attack speed by four. That is incredibly good. Uh, did we get a gold key? No. TNT will blow up when you attack it. Does that make sense, doesn't it? Okay, what do we got in here? Earth. Alright, alright, alright. Let's uh, play a bit of a... Dodge the arrows. Jump across here. Oh, what's we got? Silver key and... More treasures. Grab this thing. I think there was a wasn't there a silver lock down here? There's one there. Here, 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 here. Okay. Open it up, sir. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, it's out. Two is out. Oh, they're really good at hitting me. Oh my goodness, instant death. Oof, look at all the gold we lost. Not good, not good, not good. Okay. Everything's open. We go this way. I don't like these guys here, they're annoying. And we've got two of them. Because do you go in or do you go out? And if you go in, they come running at you. It's good, I'll just take everyone down to low health and then I'll kill them all at once. Alright, let me out of here. <laughs> well, wait, we don't have to be crazy, just be patient. Oh, yeah, we got stuck on that post. Okay. Try and focus fire. Spellcaster. Now, this is where we've got kill support. Um, okay, I can see it down there. I need a. I don't know if I need to come in here or not. Dynamite in there. I didn't realize that. Just. just out of my reach.
Get rid of him. There we go. Whew. It's intense. Oh, here's the fruit. That's what we needed for our uh, upgraded uh, healing potions. 